Hey, it's Mahalia, and this is my cup of tea at three. But I really thought you was a good guy. I the five artists that I would bring together to form a super group would first of all be me, <laughs> second of all, Amy Winehouse, third, Adele, fourth, Colin Bailey Rage, just because she's my fave, and five. We need someone else with, with a massive, ma oh. <laughs> Number five. I, I did four. I can't think of a fifth one. They're my favorite. Uh, I think my spirit animal is, I'd love to say an elephant. I feel like elephants, I feel like elephants are quite calm um, from what I know and like what I've like, read about i just i don't know if it's my spirit animal because i'm actually quite crazy and elephants don't seem that that wild um but i love elephants and i just kind of i love how they move i love how they are they just seem like they have really beautiful spirits one thing i know about new zealand and it, i can't lie i don't know that much actually oh my god i do two things so one my first thing is the hacker which I suppose is, I don't want to say it's a dance because I think that's being rude, but just the ritual that happens, but why am I doing this? <laughs> but the ritual that happens before the rugby players play, um, I love that. And I've always, like, I've kind of always loved that and like watched um, clips of it online. But also New Zealand has many black sand beaches, which I thought was really special. I was there a couple of years ago before lockdown and I went out to Piha, if I'm saying it right. And I was, I was stood on the most incredible black sand beach. Um, so yeah. The very first album I owned was Adele 19. If I had a superpower, I think it would be to maybe go back in time. Um, I don't really have any regrets, but there are some things that I wish I'd have done or things that I, maybe didn't get to see or people that I didn't get to see. Um, yeah, I feel like there's a couple of things that I would love to go back and change, even though, you know, butterfly effects, I know that I would change the future of the world, but I'm a, I'm a selfish bitch, so. Oh, my favorite movie ever. Uh, oh, that's a hard one. I kind of, I love a lot of different films. I'm a massive, massive sci-fi fan. Um, but if I was being honest, like a film that I could watch forever, maybe would be Eat, Pray, Love. God. I feel like I shouldn't tell anybody that. The best gift I've ever received, I think, I think would be from my booking agent uh, I who was in I want to say I was in France I've forgotten somewhere in Europe and he got me a Ramoa suitcase and it's interesting because I'm not really I don't really care for expensive things um, she says with her smeg toaster behind her um, but I travel a lot and like, you know, the amount of times I've bought a cheap suitcase, gone on tour and it's gotten absolutely smashed up on the plane or, you know, I'm kind of always like smashing up suitcases and whatnot and whatnot. And he bought me this suitcase because I sold out my first European tour and he got it for me about five years ago. And it's been literally my best friend with me all the time. All my closest, like most special belongings go in it. So it kind of... You know, even though it kind of is more on the bougie gift side, it definitely feels like a special thing that I'll have for a really long time. My dream holiday is Bali, um, still. I My first dream holiday was the Maldives and I managed to tick that off uh, at the end of last year. But Bali, I had a trip planned to Bali when I uh got like in 2018 and i had it was planned with my ex-boyfriend and then he acted like an idiot so we broke up and i didn't want to go on the trip on my own so i had to cancel it 
Um, so I always feel like that's like the one place that I need to get to because I never got to do it. The best piece of advice my mum has ever given me. I mean, God, she's given me so much. I think my, I don't remember anything specifically, but my mum was always really great with me whenever I was going through something, especially in love or in relationships. My mum's really good with stuff to do with the heart. And I do remember when I was younger and there was this guy that I really liked and my mum said to me, do you wanna know how to get him? And I said, yeah, I do. And she said, don't talk to him, just leave him where he is. And I remember being 13 <laughs> and really confused by that, but it worked and I totally got him and we, 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 we went out five years later. So it took five years of silence, but it eventually worked and we, and we were together for a year and it was great. And then, um, yeah, she still gives me advice every day. Some advice that I would give to up and coming artists, I think, I would just say be confident. And like, don't, don't be afraid to put yourself out there. I feel like when I was first starting out, which is now 10 years ago, and when I was 13, I was like, I was going to any open mic I could. I was, I was busking in the street. I was basically like, getting to everything and I feel like because of the way that the world is right now and the climate that we're in and TikTok and social media I feel like people people are so people are so wary about what the world thinks of them or like you know if I put a video online what is this person going to think whereas when I was a kid I just didn't care about that because there weren't prying eyes I could go out and do whatever and it wasn't going to be on social media the next day so i would just say don't be scared to like get out there put yourself out there make mistakes um and practice and i think getting your name out there physically always does better than like social media not everyone can blow up on tiktok overnight Goodbye.